There we go, guys. There's another one. There's another one. Oh, decent fish. Decent fish. Let me put a little drag on. Just a little bit. Oh. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Geek and Geezer Fishing Channel. Today, we are at Patagonia Lake. And when I say we, I mean myself and the geezer. Hey, guys. And we haven't been to Patagonia and fished for a long time. It's gotten very busy. During the weekends, it's almost impossible to get a campsite unless you plan very far in advance. So we are super excited. We're here on a Thursday night, Thursday afternoon, staying the night and leaving tomorrow. So we're going to get out on the water, see if we can't get into some fish. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you haven't already, click subscribe, smash that like button, and leave us some comments down at the bottom. It helps us so, so much. And I'll catch up with you guys out on the water. All right, guys. <laughs> we made it to Patagonia. We fished the morning, Aravaca, and now we are here at Patty. We haven't fished here very much either. Water's pretty dirty. Pretty muddy, got about a foot visibility. So we're gonna try and figure, so we only got a couple hours before it gets dark, but we're gonna try and figure something out for tomorrow. We've been getting a lot of rain. So kind of using the same stuff I was using earlier today. Just to see if we can't get a bite. Nail something down for tomorrow. And we're gonna focus on some rocks, some cattails. There's some grass in this lake also. Got one. Got one. Got one, guys. Drop shot? Drop shot off the rock. Okay. Come here, buddy. Come here. All right, not bad. Not bad at all. Drop shot desert crawl. Right off, right up against that rock. All right. Oh, he's pale. He's pale because of the dark, dark water, probably. But uh, nice. Nice way to start the evening bite. Let's get this guy back, huh? I, I, I thought this de desert crawl robo worm had some dark colors, but then some bright colors right. to kind of penetrate the penetrate through this murky water. There we go, guys. There we go. He hit it and came right at me. I had to catch up to him. Oh, ho, 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 ho. son of a gun. There we go, guys. There's one. There's one. Not right, letting him play around this time. Sitting hook hard. There we go. Uh, there we go. Little bit of jig. Jig fish. Yeah, that's a good one. Heck yeah. Thank you, fish. Heal your mouth. Quit eating bait. Woohoo! And away he went. Got one. Oh, nice. Come here. What is up with your tail, buddy? 
Why is your tail all red? That's another little one. But look at his tail. Look how red his tail is. Nice. Thank you, buddy. Nice. That's two so far. One on a Cinco and one on drop shot. Guys, I got one. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> he fell off. It fell off when I picked him up. What's going on, everybody? Just doing a little midday update, part one went well we started off at Aravaca this morning got there at about five o'clock fished until about noon packed up came over here to Patagonia this is where we're gonna camp for the night got in on the water for an afternoon bite we got a couple of fish um, so that'll that'll tie into part two of this video or the Patagonia part of this video and hopefully we got ourselves a little bit of a pattern nailed down for tomorrow and uh, it's been a long day so we're gonna sit back, enjoy some time, and have some adult beverages. All right, guys, so we're out here at the water um, here at Patagonia Lake, getting out pretty early. It's about 5.30 right now. As you can see, the sun's just starting to come up. We're just about unloaded, getting the rods in the rod racks. We'll be out on the water until probably about 10 or 11 and uh, we'll catch up with you guys out on the water all right guys we made it out on day two of our journey so we're gonna try and get a little top water maybe this morning got one. Oh, he came off <laughs> yep oh dang it Dang it. Man, I had him. But the, the, I don't think they, I don't think he even had the bait really. The hook never did really penetrate the, the bait. It's probably my fault for not checking to make sure that that was able to go through there. Dang it. Just some, some, some things I like to do when I'm fishing stained water is I like to do some top water. It makes a little bit of, you know, makes some noise, makes some action on top of the water. I like to fish with some bright colors and some darker colors and bigger profile baits. Because in the stained water, I think the bigger profiles the fish can see better. They move more water so the fish can identify them better. And, uh, and the brighter colors stand out better. So those are just some things that I like, I personally like to do. snapped off oh I felt like a decent one too son of a gun got one stay on please stay oh my gosh
There we go. There we go. Woohoo! Oh, yes. Right in the top of the mouth. Buttoned up. Hey, that's a decent one. Oh, thanks, bud. Needed that this morning. Huh? Hey, he just came back in the boat. <laughs> it just hit me in the leg. <laughs> what the hell? Hello, bird. What the heck you doing, bud? I don't know if we talked about it earlier, but normally this lake is pretty clear. Normal, pretty good visibility. Uh, but we've gotten a ton of rain. It's flowing over the spillway. So right now we've got a very dingy stained water and that's making the bite a little bit tougher that's part of the reason we're using either very bright colors or very uh, dark colors um, i've had most of my fish have either been on a cinco which i'm throwing a weightless wacky cinco and i was using a different color i was using a, um, a june bug um, but this one is a, a smoke color, so it's kind of a blackish gray with purple flake. Um, I haven't had any bites on that particular color. I'm, I'm out of June bug, so hopefully that's not a, a game breaker, deal breaker there. And then uh, this is what I've also gotten my other bites on, which I, I use quite a bit. I like this little jig, um, black and blue with a black uh, rage Ned bug, I think is what they call it. It's a Strike King. But uh, yeah, the visibility is maybe, maybe a foot because the water's so stained right now. We've still managed to get on some fish. The bite this morning has been a little bit slow. We've also just had some poor connections. We didn't connect with some of our ch opportunities that we had. Um, so hopefully we can get a couple more for you guys and uh, make it happen. There we go, guys. There's another one. There's another one. Oh, decent fish. Decent fish. Let me put a little drag on. Just a little bit. Oh, he looks like he's good hooked. Yeah, it's deep. Oh, come on now. Come on. Jeez. These fish are feisty. Oh, oh yeah. Deep in there. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, boom! That's a good one right there, guys. <sighs> yeah, you would be. That's a good one, guys. Thank you. And just saunters off. That was a good one. Good little thumper. Well, guys, we came, we caught some fish, we saw some things, we lost some fish, but nonetheless, we are kaputski. We are done heading back in. Last time we're gonna be loading up these kayaks this trip. All right, guys, well, that wraps up our video uh, here at Patagonia Lake. We started off yesterday at Aravaca, came over here for camping, got a little bit of an afternoon bite. This morning was a little bit of a struggle. We had some missed opportunities, definitely. Um, things just didn't quite go our way, but we still managed to get onto some fish. We're so glad you guys came along with us. If you haven't already, click subscribe, smash that like button, and leave us some comments down in the comment section. It helps us out so much. Thank you all for your support, and we'll catch up with you guys next time out on the water.